Welcome traders. In this video, Zone Trader Pro is pleased to announce that we have some new software to distribute. The new software is specifically designed for the SPY and or any other stock that you may want to look at. Originally, the divergence indicator was created to analyze specifically the ES. And what we have done is created a version of that that is designed to be more accurate with the SPY. What I'm going to do in this video is go over some of the setups, how you set up the indicator, because it, while it is the same indicator, we have to use different settings for the SPY. I'm also going to be distributing two templates for both the add and the new VIX indicator, which is a completely new indicator. And I'll go over that also. What we're going to do first is we're going to select the SPY and we're going to select the template that I'm distributing to you so that it'll make it easier for you to get the settings. We're going to set it at 35 ticks. And a lot of people ask me why I want such a small value because there's so many ticks. And what that does is that creates basically a finer picture of both the Bloodhound and the KP2 ratio. In other words, with more closing bars, we have a better picture to look at on both Bloodhound and the KP2 ratio. I'm just gonna load three days here and say, okay. When you receive the template and place it on the SPY chart, it's basically going to look like this. Now, I personally don't like to have the cumulative delta on the SPY showing, so I'm just going to drag the cumulative delta for the SPY lower, and I'm gonna drag the KP23 lower so that all I have is the KP2 ratio. Now I can't include the Bloodhound part of the solution on the template that I distribute because that looks at a specific location on your computer to find the files. And because your specific location on your computer is different from mine, I'm only putting on the indicators that will come up without creating an error. Now let's look at the settings and the reason why I'm distributing the template. So we right click, go to the indicators, and you're gonna see that we have zigzag ZTP on the indicator with the deviation points of 0.35. Now we have three new indicators. The three new indicators are called ZTP SPY Delta Divergence version 1.3, ZTP SPY KP2 ratio, and ZTP KP23. So the KP23, that is the KP2. In other words, that's the delta from the high to the low. And the KP2 ratio is, of course, the ratio of the KP2 from the high to the low, low to the high. The reason we're doing the template is because I had adjusted the variables to what they should be for the SPY. However, that version was not what the programmer ended up compiling. So in order to avoid any further delays, I'm just going to create this setup video. So for the zigzag ZTP, the only setting that we need to change is deviation points to 0.35. And for the following indicators, what I would suggest you do is put them and save them as the template so that they will always come up. Now, the parameters here, we're going to, the parameters I want you to change are reconstruct tape. You will have a min filter of one, a max filter of 200 million shares. The price deviation type is set to points with the deviation value of 0.35. Just put one for the delta deviation contracts and the number of key points set to three. Now, what is very important is that this accumulation distribution box is checked and you also wanna 
say show price plots and show key points delta. The markers for criteria are no longer used. There's something that I included in the script uh, before 2020 to create a type of filter and they did work good for the ES, but things changed in 2020 with liquidity. So I no longer use these anymore. So I uncheck this box. Nothing else needs to be changed other than the label offset. Now, what I would suggest you do is come down once all these values are correct, and they will be correct the first time you load the template, is to come down here, check template, and then click save, and then save as default. And now these settings will be what will always come up in the future. Now the same thing with the KP2 ratio. Reconstruct tape, minimum filter of one, max filter, put 200 million. And the other thing that's important is the reset time. The reset time is 6 p.m. Eastern time is what it is set to. Now you may need to set it to something else based on what your computer time is. Basically, what it is set for is the reopening. So if your reopening time is 11 p.m., you need to change this to 2300. If you live on the west coast of the United States, then you would change this down by three hours to 1500. Um, the other things stay the same, the price deviation value is 0.35 the number of key points is three again come and set this as a template say save save as default lastly the kp23 again there's no change here you do need to set your reset time everything else is the same price deviation points three five key points three, go ahead, save, save as default. And now we have all the indicators saved as a default so that those default values should come up. Just go ahead and say okay. The next two pieces of software that I'm releasing is the Zone Trigger Pro VIX, which is on the bottom of the chart. Just like the dollar sign tick is being picked up in panel number two here, the dollar sign VIX is being picked up tick by tick here. And this chart is the dollar sign add. So in order to create this chart, what I've done is I've just told it to find the tick. I've set it at a value of 10 and that's all that needs to be done. Uh, another important thing is always set the trading hours to default 24 seven. Now, what I'm also releasing is I'm also releasing a new version of the Bloodhound template. And this Bloodhound template that I'm running here incorporates the add symbol in it also. So previously I had six symbols being used to create the bloodhound signal down here. Now there is seven and basically my logic included increasing the value of the add symbol because the add symbol is going to move a little bit more in real time. So the formula is slightly different and what I suggest is that you run this on different charts and see which chart that you like. So specifically, this is the 25 second ES EVXY add exact ratio. And because I get asked this question a lot, the Bloodhound template that I have on the SPY is the 25 second ES UVXY exact ratio. And then on the third chart, which is the ES chart, I run the 25 second ES VXX exact ratio. 
To set up the add chart, basically what we're going to do is this, we'll right click, go to the indicators. Again, I'm gonna provide you with the template, but the template is not going to have Bloodhound included on it. And what I've done is I've done something a little bit different with the Zone Trader Pro V2BH. What I've done is I've gone and told it to pull up the tick numbers and I've told it to show zigzag ticks 1500. This is just based on some trial and error that I did. Now I went ahead and I unchecked all the patterns because the patterns are not going to match the zigzag ZTP. I'm doing this for a specific reason and the patterns do not match the zones. The zones are set at a deviation points of 20. You're not going to have the Bloodhound Ultimate on there. When you do, what I have done on this chart is I've placed the long threshold and the short threshold at a 0.5. If you wanna play around and put in different numbers, you're free to do that. Now the other two indicators on this chart are the dollar sign tick, which is showing up in the middle panel right here, and the dollar sign VIX, which is in the bottom panel. There are no adjustments or parameters that you need to set for either the dollar sign tick or the dollar sign VIX. So the only real adjustments needed to be made for the dollar sign add again are the 1500 remove all the patterns and the zigzag ztp set the deviation points at 20. the logic behind that the reason i did that is so that i could see the dollar sign tick on a more unusual type of pattern and the dollar sign tick is what is printing here. The other thing that I needed to do in order to have the dollar sign tick being printed out in a color other than green was I needed to change the chart style to mountain. One other option is to create the open high low close as the type of chart you want to set the color for down bars to black and up bars to black if you want to do that. I personally liked the mountain theme and kept it at, at that. One of the questions I do get asked is there is not a way to change the color of the dollar sign tick. And that is one of the reasons I chose mountain for the type of chart style. Later today, I'm going to update the website and you can come to the under the tab for trading strategies set up for the live vix template if you click here there will be first a link to the new version of the vix file right click save as and place it in the bloodhound template i will also place the template files here with the instructions on where to download and place them. But basically they're going to go into documents, Ninja Trader 8, templates, and then the chart folder. There'll be two of them, one for the dollar sign add and one for the spy. The zip file is going to be distributed via Skype. Contact me on Skype and I will give you the zip file. The zip file itself is just imported from the tools menu, tools, import, and Ninja script add-on. So that's how you will install that file. If you should have any questions, please contact me on Skype and I will help you get that figured out and installed. Thanks for watching and be sure to let me know your comments, what you think about the new SPY divergence indicator. Good luck and take care, bye.